Hello, hello, and welcome back. Thank you for clicking on this. Today, we're bringing it back to basics. I've got a bunch of super low effort, delicious, nutritious, and pretty fast to put together meal ideas to share with you. You know, for those times where you just can't deal with an elaborate recipe, um, feel free to click like and subscribe if you haven't already for more ideas like this. And now let's get into it. This first recipe would be for these spicy kimchi noodles, inspired by Korean cold noodles, except mine are warm. So first off, grab some glass noodles, cover them with hot boiling water, and let them sit and do their thing for about 5 minutes. In the meantime, grab a small saucepan and add some vegan kimchi, some of the kimchi's liquid, some rice syrup or any other sweetener, vegetable oil, white wine vinegar or balsamic, sesame seeds, soy sauce, and some extra gochujang if you'd like some more spice in this. Combine some water and cornstarch until the starch is dissolved and then mix that in as well. Combine everything with a wooden spoon and bring the heat up to medium high. Cook this for two to three minutes, mixing frequently. About a minute before you go ahead and drain the noodles, add about a handful of fresh baby spinach you can also just add the spinach to the sauce, it doesn't really matter. Now bring together the noodles, spinach, and kimchi sauce. I love serving this with some avocado or with some of this vegan baked omelette. Recipe for this can be found later in this video, here's a timestamp. It fits so nicely with this, it really makes all this together taste like bibimbap. Next up is a very comforting meal. It's a sort of chili that requires only a handful of ingredients and a handful of minutes. To a small saucepan, add some olive oil and bring that to medium high. Once the oil is hot, add some quick cooking vegetables of choice. I went for one chopped bell pepper, a handful of chopped mushrooms, and a spring onion. If you want it spicy, add some chili flakes here. Let this all cook for four to five minutes, stirring here and there. Then add some store-bought tomato sauce, I like this vegan bolognese one here. Also add some vegetable broth and bring everything up to a boil. Let this all simmer for 2-3 to three minutes over medium. Once again, we're mixing in some baby spinach. Transfer this to your bowl and serve with perhaps a toasted tortilla and a sprinkle of nutritional yeast, maybe. This reminds me of minis, min, minestrone as well, a little bit. On to recipe number three. This one is one of my favorites from today. I came up with this recipe just by throwing some random leftovers together. First off, cut up a green bell pepper. I know, arguably, the worst bell pepper, but I think it fits really nicely in this because it doesn't have a strong flavor of its own. However, if you don't like green, go with yellow, orange, red, you know. It's important to make sure that your pepper strips are super dry, just so you can avoid any nasty oil splashes later. Grease a large grilling pan with a bit of oil and bring that to high heat. Also fill a small pot with water, that's for the noodles. Once the grilling pan is hot, add the pepper slices. You can also just use a regular pan. You just want to get some nice color on these. Now the water should be boiling. Add your noodles or pasta. I'm using ramen because they, they're done in like five minutes. Once the peppers are done, hit them with some salt and perhaps also with some chili flakes. Last but not least, mix together the things for the sauce and then you're pretty much done. Um, almond butter, soy sauce, white wine vinegar, sriracha, vegan Worcester sauce. I got mine from Penny. Make sure to adjust the consistency with some non-dairy milk. Same as before, to get some more greens in here, I added some spinach to the noodles just before they were done. Now bring it all together. Out, 
I would recommend finishing this off with some cashew parmesan. This is so good. I got this sweet suggestion here on Instagram. Don't think I've ever done this before. Like I've had apple and peanut butter on toast plenty of times, but I'd never thought of grilling the apple first. So that's what we're doing here. I had cut the apple into slices, then brought my pan with coconut oil up to high heat, and then cooked the fruit until it got some color for about two minutes on each side. To my toast, I added some crunchy peanut butter to switch things up a bit. Then I topped that with the apple, sprinkled over a bit of cinnamon, and then finished everything off with some more of that brown rice syrup. I love this. It almost tastes like honey. This is already really nice, but I felt like it needed some sort of freshness. And so I added a bit of soy yogurt to my toasts and that worked really nicely. But yeah, thank you for that idea. Up next, we have this baked omelet on toast to make. It's like a lazier version of quiche, essentially. <laughs> First off, grab a small baking dish, something like a 20 times 20 centimeter brownie pan, and grease it with a tablespoon of oil. Make sure to get into all the corners, get all the sides. Now blend up the following things inside a blender, silken tofu. But also make sure that your oven is preheating to 200 degrees Celsius at this point. Add non-dairy milk chickpea flour, cornstarch, nutritional yeast, olive oil, salt, and some spices of choice. I would recommend adding turmeric, paprika, garlic powder, and some black pepper. Lastly, add some lemon juice or vinegar. Pour this mix into your prepared baking dish. Now you can just leave it simple and plain like so. Or I would recommend adding some more add-ins, such as mushroom slices, chopped spring onion, maybe a handful of vegan pizza cheese, some bell pepper. Put it into the oven, let it bake for 20 to 25 minutes or until firm and lightly golden brown. Now once you're ready to serve, go ahead and toast up some bread. I added some vegan cream cheese to the bread, then some baby spinach, some of the baked omelette, of course. And then some sriracha, why not? This was so good, seriously. Even the plain version was so nice. I added some of my five minute cucumber salad to this. Recipe for that one will be linked down below, you guys know. Of course, with any vegan egg recipe, you could go ahead and sprinkle some kalanamak on this. Okay, so I might actually have saved the best for last. Yeah, this recipe has a special place in my heart. It's these super easy tacos filled with something that, to me, low key, or high key tastes like curry chicken. I had not intended for that to happen. I was just going for a, a different version of tofu scramble, but then it turned into this and now here we are and it's great. All right, so in a medium sized bowl, crumble up the tofu. Now add some cornstarch to this, some nutritional yeast, garlic powder, curry powder, onion powder, smoked paprika powder, and salt. Add some white wine vinegar, mix that up. Now bring a large nonstick pan with some oil up to medium high, and once it's hot, add the tofu chunks. Cook this for about six minutes or until it's gotten some nice color. You want some of the pieces or actually all of the pieces to be nice and crunchy on the outside. And then pour over some full fat coconut milk. Mix it in and give that another two to three minutes until the milk has kind of been absorbed by the tofu. I also added some chives randomly. I don't know, you could do parsley or just skip that. But yeah, then go ahead and fill up your tacos. I'd added some avocado to mine, some red onion, some unsweetened soy yogurt, as well as some more chives. Oh, also baby spinach had to make another appearance. But yeah, that would be it. 
I hope you guys enjoyed these recipes. I hope there were some useful ideas in this. If you end up recreating any of these, don't forget to snap a photo and share it over on your Instagram story. Tag me in it. That helps me and my channel out a bunch. And also, I just want to see what you guys are making. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for participating and commenting and liking and all of that. I really, really appreciate it. Have a good week. Bye. Ranging from a movie scene.